Hey, shalom, I'm giving our praise on the Abbas, you must have a shim car, good dash, a double honors on three apostles of green millstone. And honestly, what was the big pushing in this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth? And the Bible, everybody, I'm coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh, Bahashim, how will Shah, Bahashim, will go, how could dash? Right, this is gonna be a, a quick video, in transit video. I don't really have any precepts to mind uh, to, to think about. But pretty much, I wanted to do a quick video. Uh, about something that I believe Apostle Kabar had said, and it kind of it's it's kind of like a something that resonates quite well. And when you start to think about it, and you really start to to understand, then you got to come to the conclusion that it was a very very astute saying that he said, of which the Apostle said. You know, the main person, for, for all intents and purposes, the apostle said, the main person that you're fighting within this truth, or the main thing that, that you're fighting within this truth is, is yourself. Because we come into this truth, you know, you got all kind of different things that you did when you was in the world. Some of them might have been lawful, but not necessarily expedient. Some of it is time consuming. Some of it was just straight up off come into this truth and that's the battle you play okay but it's that gray area of oh i could probably do this and get away with it that's what you're really battling man all right to make the sac spiritual sacrifice to make it to where you're going to be acceptable before the heavenly father Yahweh and the scriptures do indeed say make your make yourself a a living sacrifice just like how Yahweh became a sacrifice the servants are greater than the master we're going to be become a sacrifice in ourselves we're going to become a sacrifice in putting our desires wants dreams right feelings that's another way uh that's another way you're the battle you have a battle with yourself when you have all of these feelings oh i feel this i feel this this way about something i feel that way about something that um that really is a situation where that really is a situation where you can get trapped up, man. Yeah, them feelings. Hey, them feelings, man. <laughs> them feelings will get you hurt. Okay, that they'll put you in a situation where, where it's gonna be detrimental to your salvation, man. So I sometimes, you know, it's better just to put your feelings aside and approach this like a business, a business type situation where you do what you gotta do, man. Okay, you do what you gotta do. And um and you keep it moving, man. All right. The scriptures do do indeed speak about how you know you're gonna be offended sometimes. You know you might see a brother do a certain 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 that offends you. Okay. You might you might feel a certain type of way about it, but again, it might not be your place to say. Okay. It might not be your place to say. You might observe particular things. You're like, oh man, that that irks my spirit. But don't let that be your downfall, man. Hey, within the family, when you're growing up and you're in the family, there's certain things that happen and you're like, man, man, God damn, what the, what's, 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 what's mom doing, man? What's dad doing, man? What's going on here? But you suffer it because that's your parents, okay? You see certain things from your siblings, you're like, man, what are you doing, bro? But you suffer it because that's family. Well, this is the spiritual family, man. We hope to be the first fruits. So these particular things where it's like, look, man, that's not even worth saying, man. Okay, it's, obviously there's certain situations where you got to, you gotta speak to a brother and you know say, bro, you know, that, that kind of offended me, man. But you be looking at a brother and you're seeing him chew and you're, you're getting all offended, man. <laughs> you don't like how, how a brother ties his shoelaces. Okay? That's when it comes down to the statement that I made where it's like you're really battling yourself when it comes to this truth, man. You're really battling yourself. Okay, your own little personal quirks and personal personal persuasions and personal little 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 things about yourself that you're really gonna have to put yourself aside and that's one of the sacrifices that you're gonna put your your so-called feelings aside you're gonna put your you're gonna put yourself to the side man and say look the, the the ministry is more important than my feelings the ministry is more important than my my dreams the ministry is more important than what i want to happen hell i go as far as saying this there's certain things that the most side is gonna give you but he's gonna give it to you in his own time and you gotta be patient. And that's kind of like putting yourself aside for this truth, man. Might be a job that you want. Might be a situation that you want for yourself. 
And that situation, you could see, you could see the from a million miles away from that that situation. If the Mossad was going to give it to you, it was going to be a situation that was going to be what? That was going to be um. That was going to be um. That was that's going to be a beneficial situation for you. In the flesh, you're like, yo, man, Lord, why don't you give me this, that, and the third? I can see how that's going to be so great for my situation. <laughs> You know, you be thinking, you be thinking, look, man, look, look, Lord, you do this for me, man. I can see how this is gonna be beneficial for the truth, but it might be beneficial for the truth for that period of time, for you to suffer without a work, without a job, for you to suffer for without a particular situation that you might think is gonna be better for the truth. Okay, it might be expedient for you to suffer through that particular situation for you to be purified. See, this is what this is what it comes down to, man. It comes down to suffering, man. All right, you really gotta put yourself aside, man. And that's really the battle. Really being able to understand that, look, man, we ain't here to please ourselves. We're here to please the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Shemarasai. And everything that we do, all the works that we do, and everything that we do is to for, for the for the glorification of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Shemarasai, and His Son, Yahweh, Shai. That's what it comes down to, man. So that's the video, just a quick little video without myself. Praise unto Yahweh, Shemarasai, by Shemakwa Hakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Honor to brothers that be pushing these truth in sincerity. Shalom.